Hello, my name is Zappi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017. I do have some very interesting things to talk about today, but first, as the Minecraft music starts, I like to inform you about my latest earworm. Indeed, I got an earworm and I can't stop listening to that particular song because, yeah, I don't know, it's it's just an earworm, I can't stop listening to it, it's just fantastic. Normally, I am listening to trance music, so Armin van Buren, Marcus Schulz, Omnia, Ali and Feeler and all the others. But from time to time, I also enjoy some electro swing. Indeed, I enjoy some electro swing. That's a very interesting taste, but I enjoy this music genre. And um, yeah, recently, I wanted to listen to some electro swing. So I, of course, searched in YouTube for some, some great music and I rediscovered a group I I pretty much liked and uh, this group is called Caravan Palace. Caravan Palace is really they, they make some some very great uh, songs and so I also found the new earworm the new earworm on their YouTube channel the new ear earworm is called oh yeah this is this is really a complex name for a song human leather shoes for crocodile dandies i mean what what this is this is a crazy name for a song but this song is awesome this song is really awesome oh i need uh, some uh, leaves Okay, and I do have another jack o' lantern to install at my pass. But, oh, this might become problematic. Of course, I could have a jack o' lantern just in the rock, but I don't know if jack o' lantern, plain jack o' lantern in the stone. Is looking really that good. So, all right, let's let's just have a jack o' lantern maybe here. Yeah, let's have it down there. And now I need uh, some leaves. So yeah, this weird uh, song, "Human Leather Shoes for Crocodile Dandies," is uh, really amazing. It's it's um hmm, it's. You can maybe call it a summer song or so. It's it's really hard to say what what makes the song so interesting because well I think it may it's so so interesting because it's a little bit different to the normal electro swing and yeah it's it's really fantastic. I hope I won't forget to add a link into the video description so that you can check out that song as well. Maybe you enjoy it. Maybe you don't. As I said, uh, Electro Swing is uh, an interesting taste. It's maybe an acquired taste for, for a few people, but uh, so is uh, trance music. And um, yeah, apparently I have the not so mainstream music taste, but uh, that's cool. This makes me a little bit more unique. And um, but yeah. So um, I just wanted to say this this, mu uh, this song is really fantastic and. This song especially is fantastic when you can sit or lie in a hammock and that's what I did because I do have my sitting hammock, the, the hammock where I can't really lie in but I can use it as to, to sit and this, this was really amazing. Over the weekend I was sitting there, I was swinging around and I was listening to some electro swing while I was swinging and um, yeah, so um, I will listen to uh, this this particular song a couple of times and um, apparently now I start to listen to it in the morning and well, every time. So indeed, it's, it's an earworm, but that's cool and maybe you like that song as well. I just want to try out something new over here. 
Let's see, is this looking interesting or not? So, um, as I said, I have some interesting things to talk about, and indeed I have. On the one hand, yesterday, on a Tuesday, the study, I was, well, it's, it's not my, my personal study, but I was involved in the organization of it, finally started, and it's uh, the study with uh, the virtual classroom, the classroom simulator that is used in order to teach new teachers some, some classroom management. So they are required to hold a normal lesson to inform students about, I think this looks not uh, that bad. Can I get a different vantage point maybe to take a look at this? Now, of course, you can't really see. But yeah, I think this is cool. cure. This, this is much better than those, those clear edges. I should have done this much earlier. But yeah, I like this. I think I will keep this. I will, I will continue to use uh, this style of building the pass. Um, where was I? Yeah, so um, teachers are can train classroom management because the system is designed to disturb their, their lessons. So they are required to inform students about uh, or pupils about a particular thing and um, the instructor can activate some disturbances such as well, the student falls asleep or the student yawns or the student just does some daydreaming. In addition to that, the, the system also provides a very, very strong disturbances such as a phone call or when the, the teacher doesn't react, then the instructor can even activate a that the the student uh, the, the pupil is, is dancing on the table and this of course is is driving some of the 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 students nuts and um it's so amazing when i to to observe the study because some some students are really involved in it some participants are really involved in it they are immersed in the in the whole simulation and this is of course what we want to achieve so they really reacted to the the um, virtual pupils and um, yeah it was really interesting when they when for instance someone got got a phone call and they said no no this this is not okay and they they really reacted to it they they yeah they were immersed in the whole system and this of course was amazing and the the system also supports some basically some 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 voice from the from the pupils so um, that the instructor can activate or write sorry or so that the, the the pupil says sorry of course there's a huge problem that they have to activate those things manually and so it's a little bit disconnected when the when the teacher says something, then um, yeah, it takes maybe a, a couple of, of seconds for the for the instructor to react, and this can, of course, make the thing a little bit uh, less less interesting, less less realistic. But still, it's it's pretty cool to to see how they react, and um, yeah, this this is really fantastic to to see this and I'm I'm excited to see the results of this as now of course the study will continue and they will do some additional training and um, yeah so this this is really an awesome system and I'm I'm excited to to see how everything works out also the team is great and this also is, is important when you when you work that close and in in such a short time because apparently the preparation for this study have just started around the time as i began my i started into my new job at the university and so yeah a stressful time as i talked about this in the last episode so this was cool 
The other thing I like to talk about is that yesterday was also the start of the seminar I I have to to give and um, yeah the the first the first session or in general all the sessions are done in collaboration with the professor so she really supports me she really uh, offers a lot of help she um, really likes to make sure that I feel welcome that I feel supported that I this was stupid um, that I uh, that that I have just a great a start into into well there into her research and into her teaching because uh, yeah I never never taught teacher something so the whole educational part is completely new to me and um, on the one hand this is, this is interesting because I learn a lot of new things on the other hand it's also maybe challenging as I have no idea what they expect how what what teachers are thinking and um, so I'm I'm really happy about all the support and this of course is pretty cool so yeah um, the first session was um, held by her and it was more well it was just an introduction session so what is, is going to happen what are the things the the students can expect and um, it was also used to get a general idea about what they know about media as my the seminar is about um, teaching and learning about Te no teaching uh no learning learning with and about media oh dang it i i always mix uh, this up but um yeah i i i already told you the name so just go back into the history of the coffee breaks and you will find out what i'm talking about and um yeah so uh, we also wanted to know what what knowledge do they have and um surprisingly many said i don't really have so much knowledge on media and well especially as i studied media in my bachelor and master's program i'm already used to media of course and um, in general as i use the internet for so many things i do youtube i do gaming i i do all this, this fun stuff so media is really an integral part of my life and then finding out that they they don't really have really an idea they we also the the new media room has a lot of whiteboards which is super awesome because i mean it's it's a board you can which is a computer at the same or which is a computer screen you can touch you can write on and um, you can also just use as a normal computer screen to to browse the internet and maybe to underline a few things you find on the internet so this this is really cool but only a few ever got in touch with it with it and so um this this was really the the biggest surprise for me that ow, the they they aren't really into this whole thing and i i thought hey i mean everyone has a computer so everyone has at least a particular understanding how you can generate some media of course it's not as polished as when you are really used to to prepare powerpoint presentations or so but um i guess somewhere is a cave i guess maybe there's a cave for a spawner or so i don't know but i also don't want to investigate so this this was really interesting that okay they don't have that much of knowledge and so I'm I'm excited about the entire seminar, how, what they expect, what they learn, and what questions they will have. So this this of course is cool, and um, yeah. So this nice, very nice. Um, speaking of preparing and planning and organizing, can you please? calm down a little bit uh, of organizing studies i have also started to organize my personal next study with my with my training game and um yeah i'm i'm excited now we will have three different conditions we have a normal traditional 
training approach with, with just papers. We have my computer game in a desktop version, so it's yeah played on a normal computer. And we have a VR version of that game. And of course, now we want to compare the efficiencies of all the three different conditions. And um, yeah, in general, it's the third study with this system. And um, yeah. As I'm now used to organize things, I I'm just okay. Let's let's organize the next study. It will start at the the start of June or so. So I have some time left, but still there are, there are a lot of things to do uh, to find some rooms to maybe get some student workers who can support me to um, make sure that um, the students are informed and that they are aware of potential well not risks but that that they agree to participate in the study so yeah i have to prepare all those forms and um yeah that's that's interesting so so much about uh, this and surprisingly i have i have almost ooh, i have almost covered everything the only thing I, I really noticed, I, uh, this is, well, there, there are two things, there are two things. Um, both things are related to my new apartment. The new apartment, as I said, I have basically two, well, two stories more or less. So one of my room, the, the office is directly underneath the roof. And the office also has uh, those roof windows and um, since a very long time we really we finally had some some strong rain and it was really interesting because rain on those uh, roof windows is uh, super loud and it was raining towards oh, well the night as I went to bed and uh, this this really was was a nice ambient sound that um, uh, by the way, I was told that I should give you some food, horse. Do you like an apple? No, the horse doesn't like an apple. Um, hmm. Well, I, apparently I don't have something for you. I'm very sorry, horse. I really would have loved to give you something. Because apparently I don't feed you enough, my very dear friend. Okay, um, also I was told that those that there will be new pumpkins down here and I think in the last episode I saw that there were new pumpkins but I'm not quite sure so I will just leave those things standing there in the hope that I will get some new pumpkins there and um, tripwire hook string so many miscellaneous stuff Okay, do I like to continue with the past building activity? I mean, I, I have the, the feeling that I really need to, to mix things up, but hmm, mixing things up, I, I could start to plan the bridge. This would also make things a little bit easier when I have to build the next monument, the next end of the year monument. So, Let's get up there and think a little bit about a potential bridge. Potential bridge, of course, this is di diagonal bridge could be problematic. Bridge with a band would be weird. Um, I might be able to start from here. This would be good. But, hmm, hmm, I don't know, I have to think about this. So the other thing concerning my apartment, I don't know how this happened, but the, the last weekend I was washing my clothes, so the, the washing machine was running. I haven't had issues with the uh, washing machine, so I used it already a couple of times before, before the this incident and um, yeah so everything went fine everything was all right but then as I wanted to 
get the the second load of clothes I had in the washing machine out of the washing machine I saw a puddle of water on the floor of my kitchen and I thought oh snap this is probably bad this is very bad at first I was very afraid that maybe some of the hoses of the washing machine uh, were not connected anymore to or weren't completely connected to the drain or the the fresh water but um, oh, every, everything was dry then I found out that for some reason I do have a dishwasher I, I, well, the, the, I got the dishwasher with the apartment basically but as I'm living alone right now and um, I don't even think I have enough dishes to fill said, uh, said dishwasher so I don't use it but for some reason the the soapy water from the washing machine ended inside of the dishwasher and I mean it would make sense when I would have had some some issues before with the drain because well when when the thing is clogged then of course there there might be the chance that the 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 washing machine water is pushed Okay, this might be a little bit too dangerous to have the slope up here for such a long time but on the other hand I did this over here as well so well I, I can fix this later on so um, if the thing would have been clogged or so but I, I haven't ex experienced any issues when when I washed my dishes or so so it was weird and um, yeah I, I gave it a try afterwards I I just thought okay let's 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 wash it again but um, yeah it, it went smoothly nothing happened so I have no idea I have no clue how and why the water ended inside of the washing machine uh, um, of the dishwasher and moreover where exactly this water got out of the dishwasher so yeah um, as you might guess I had I had a great evening as I discovered this and as I then was required to um, get my, my kitchen floor dry again so I don't know weird things weird things are happening and of course all those weird things are always happening to me but um, yeah it is what it is and now I hope that this will never happen again because it wasn't the the best of the experiences I had. So yeah. Um, all right. Let's just. Okay, this is a little bit dark down here, so I need a pumpkin down here. One or two pumpkins. And how's the rest coming along? This is illuminated. This is good. This part is illuminated, very nice. Stairs are illuminated, awesome. Hi, this one is not illuminated. Um, I will be, I will be, oh dear, this, this guy is now following me. Um, I guess I will, I will stay in my, in my cabin. I don't want to risk to, to get up there to, oh dear, to my, that's, what is going on? Okay. Um, mm, uh, mm, okay, let's 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 try to ow. Let's try to to just run for it. Let's let's just run up there. You missed. Right, this this is a good start. It makes at least some some bright elements here. Okay, let's let's just get up there. Make sure that there's no Creeper, all right. Let's secure the horse. Very nice. Hey you. All right. Now this one apparently likes to taste my eggs as well. Thank you for all that XP. And um, yeah, I can I can go to bed. I can end off this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And as usual, I hope that you will be joining me in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Seppi. 
See you. Thank you.